mathematics, explain it. So you think that we can deal with the problem by explaining it away? Explaining it underneath? You mean like helping people understand and or what? I mean, because if you explain to somebody, look, you you have no money, they're still going to have no money. Um, so that doesn't necessarily solve the problems, you know, kind of like my problem. Maybe maybe the solution would be if a, if a great plague came and wiped out 80% of the population. <laughs> that wouldn't make a lot of people happy with it. I don't think so. I think the best... Well, I think, I think, but I don't think that would be the best way. I think we can tap into the Earth's core to power a magnetic system of travel and transfer seamlessly from the Earth to space. Transfer what from Earth to space? Our physical bodies as well as anything. We can magnetize, we can move within the magnetic field. But what if this reality that we are forced to accept is false and you know and nothing is true then anything is possible then that means that the physical limitations are just our ideas of limitations it's not real and that's a big what if you know they're perceptively real they're created to be real in a moment that's what life is then life is a moment life isn't um, So life, life is like a moment, uh, just one moment, and then when, and if you think, okay, scientifically speaking, and I'm, I'm putting aside uh, any sort of uh, religious uh, view to this, I'm just saying that scientifically speaking, if the universe is expanding and then it's going to contract, it's like the, uh, you know, this infinity symbol. So if so, that makes time circular, and even though time, life is a moment, that moment's going to be repeating itself forever. Because you, because time is here, it happens again. So in in that way, I guess, wow, we just proved that we're scientifically immortal. Yeah, because okay, let's say let's say you die of an overdose of heroin in 1978. Okay, that's a period of time that you lived from 1958 to 1978, and and and, and then you died. Not you, but I'm saying this person's character. The universe is, con is expanding, then it's going to contract and expand again, and everything that happens is going to happen again. So if it's always happening, those 20 years are always going to be there. So you don't die, because time is, infinite, uh, is an infinite loop. You may be out of, you know, you may not be living in 1776, but you're there in 1970, you know. i thinking, maybe, that each perception is an expansion and the reset button of death is the contraction. Reset button of death! That's it! And because I think the earth is, well I think it's always expanding and contracting at every moment though, within the perception. I'm trying to think about an analogy for what you just said, but uh, I can't. Do you have one? I believe that all the light, all the waves that we perceive as light and mm -hmm. sound and yeah. smell yeah. and touch, it's smell all comes in through waves. It's all it's all move, movement oriented act experience. Is all these waves are being two things are happening. Both they are coming together at a point and combining and congealing and curving and coalescing into a, a, a tangled, entangled, a bending, shifting, vibrating, perceptively, experience. And that is all wave perception as a string, they call it, but it's a vibration of all waves at a level. And it's all moving in every direction. And this is the vibration that also then, if you look at it from the other side, is vibrating. And how it vibrates is the, is the reason or, or how the wave is perceived. How it vibrates 
decides how we experience. Of course, it's like having a vibrator, and how it vibrates determines how we experience it. Oh, yeah. So uh, you were kind of going into waves. You, you've left out. Uh, you, I mean, you jumped out of electromagnetism a little bit to go into waves. All all waves are electromagnetic. Well, would we be happier if we had a higher? I mean, had more electromagnetism around. Like we had uh, Johnny's electromagnets on our house. And we we're always walking through magnetic field, magnetic fields. Would that help us in any way? Depends on how you use it. How so? You can put it through your body a long time and damage yourself with it. You can put it around a system and create more you or less of anything. You believe that exposure to electromagnetism is harmful in the long, in the long term? I think it dehydrates the body. Why? Because it produces heat. It what? Produces heat. Well. Maybe the electric coils going around the the electromagnet would heat up. I don't know, but but not the actual electromagnetism. I don't think it's I don't I don't think it's, it's it involves any sort of heat. It's a plasma current. It's a stream of electrons, a constant stream of negative charge. I'm moving this a bit because you're out of frame. I, I believe that it produces heat. Uh, I think that introducing electromagnetism into a system would increase either the mass, it would increase the, it could increase the mass, mm -hmm. or it could be, it could be resonated so that it doesn't increase the mass, so that it doesn't change the system. If you're aware of what's happening, if you understand it on a vibrational level, and you, you understand it and feel it, you can maneuver it through anything, literally an electric field, you can manipulate with your with your understanding of the vibration. Um, Side stepping into a different um, subject, uh, a bit of a different subject. I just wanted to know why do we need to know these things? I mean, what are we searching for here? The oh, why why the whole why are we always asking ourselves these things? The because we live in an unsan unsustainable society. For about 10,000 years, we've been destroying and pillaging and, and raping and cultivating, ultimately, the land to make more food to feed more people, to make more food to feed more people. And people are like, what, what, what is happening? Why, what is this? Well, let's use money, what is happening? And what's happening is there's a vibration underneath our physical perception. Underneath our physical perception, there's a there's a vibration. This vibration, which you're talking about, you're talking about a, w a way of measuring what's going on, or are you talking about? I mean, because you don't mean an actual physical vibration, right? You don't mean something that you can actually put your hand on the floor and feel. I believe it is physical. It's in the mind. It's thought. And thought is energy, right? So. And you can take control of thought and say anything with thought. Yes. Ultimately affecting the vibration. The thing is, is there, um, I mean, in your view, your particular view, what is, and this, I'm pretty sure people have asked you that in the videos before, what is, do you, and you, you just made a video called The Meaning of Life, okay? But what is the point of life? Well, a lot of it, a lot of it is an individual adventure of learning, and that may be the point is for is different for every person. But the meaning, I believe, is an analog process. The meaning is an analog process. So, according to what you just said, the point of live, living is what you do with life once you have it. Yeah, uh, I'm just phrasing what you said a little, a little differently because you said it's an individual learning experience and adventure. So, so that's kind of interesting that life comes with no instructions and therefore no point until you give it one, huh? 
Right? That's why we're not like animals. That's why we're special. You think it's been ten minutes? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm like an animal. <laughs> Shit. Shit out of my ass like an animal. And I'm ashamed of it like an animal sometimes. I look at a dog while it's shitting and how it looks up at me. Probably it's like, what are you, why, like, what are you? Maybe because it's like a state of weakness of the body in that moment. Right? Well, you know, it's in, uh, it's because we're constantly, constantly producing waste. You know, I mean, we're always producing waste in some form. Maybe this talking about it is waste after 11 minutes of recording. Yeah, entropy.